Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our data science at UC San Diego Triton Talk. My name is Whitney. I am the intake advisor for the data science department, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And within our academic unit, the Holly Gialu Data Science Institute, I am going to announce our other panelists for today. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Kelleher. I am a program coordinator and undergraduate advisor and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. We just got a notice that my internet connection is unstable, so I apologize if I just cut out there, but hopefully it's uh, back when I'm uh, presenting later on. Thank you so much, Megan. We just want to go over a few items of housekeeping before we get started. This presentation is being recorded, so if you do choose to use our Q&A feature, we do ask that you do not share any personal information. And if you have any questions today, we will request that you hold on to those at the end of the session. And please email us at dscstudent at ucsd.edu. I'm gonna put that there in the chat for everybody. And please go ahead and send us any questions at the end of our presentation if we aren't able to get to your question at the end of our session, but we do plan on having a Q&A portion. So to tell you a little bit more about the reasons that we would love to have you join us at our Triton talk today, we will be talking about different pathways of getting involved in data science at UC San Diego, such as research, scholarship, student organizations, and our curriculum options, again, um, because we are through the Holly Gialu Data Science Institute here. So before we go too in depth into the rest of the presentation, we really do want to discuss what is data science? This is a question that we get a lot and it's still growing and we have a very um, new field of our major and our curriculum. Um, so there's not really one clear answer on what is data science, but currently we state that data science is the ability to draw useful conclusions using large sets of data known as big data. We continue to explore, analyze, and make predictions from data with predictive modeling, data analysis, and computational techniques. And we also know to ask the right questions and interpret data utilizing expertise in a subject domain, also referred to as a domain of interest, which we are going to go over a little bit more in depth later in the presentation. So now we are going to play a short video that dives deeper into data science and the arrival of our institute here at UC San Diego. Going from the floor of the ocean to the cosmos, human activity, behavior, our gut, our brains, our social networks, our beliefs, our preferences, where we shop, all of this stuff is now data. And so data science is, it's a field we've never had to have before because we've got data at a scale and a scope that never existed before. The field of data science has already started to really impact uh, our world. Uh, we're able to study global large trends more easily. At the same time, it's still an evolving field. Uh, many companies that I've worked with or talked to uh, realize they need to do something with data science, but they're not quite sure what. Uh, and so this is ever changing and ever evolving. The purpose of the Institute is to curate the emerging field of data science and the presence of UC San Diego in that field. The Data Science Institute is being created as an all-campus institute. So we're not building yet another silo that lives by itself. The success of data science will be a matter of being able to get large teams working together. 
Data Science Institute's goal is to promote, build, and encourage the use of data science in all the disciplines where it may be used. If you look at UC San Diego, just about every one of our faculty members, even when they're appointed in one department, they're working with faculty members from two, three, four, five other departments. And if you look at data science as an area, the ability to collect data, the ability to analyze data and make decisions, it spans the whole gamut of UC San Diego from Scripps Oceanography on one end to the medical school at the other and with the general campus in the middle. So this is a spectacular enabler for all of UC San Diego. Being able to have an institute here that, that brings a collection of minds, and quite frankly, not just from the UCSD area, but we, we're inviting uh, data science experts from around the country and often the globe. Um, this will really uh, invigorate the community around here to get a core of data scientists and really be able to help boost some of these companies' abilities to, to do things with the data that they've collected. It requires our students to have a domain knowledge, to have an understanding of the processes that generate data in depth, as much as they learn about methods and tools to do something with that data, to analyze it, to verify it, to, to, to make deductions. You can do that by taking courses, by being having a major somewhere else in some other domain and having a data science as a minor. So in that sense, data science is a core with large number of petals going out to various domains. We talk a lot about wanting students to have both a broad education and then a deeply focused education in one, in one area. And I think data science will allow us to do that by saying, well, you're going to major in perhaps um, history or you're going to major in biology. But if you do also an extra major or perhaps a minor in data science, you'll learn these tools and techniques that apply across many fields. So I think we'll be able to prepare our students far better with data science as part of a broad curriculum. One of my real hopes and dreams for this institute is that um, data science becomes uh, part of perhaps the core curriculum. Uh, you have every student taking a data science 101, allowing them to really do some critical thinking and understanding how to analyze uh, things that are presented to them and what the data is behind it. The graduates that we will train, both in our undergraduate and graduate programs in data science, are they're going to be the leaders of tomorrow in shaping the public institutions of our nation and around the world. I'm excited about this institute. I think uh, Tanner's vision is helping us making an impact, and I'm convinced this institute is going to make an impact on UC San Diego and also on the broader community in the country and the world. I think all of this forward-looking innovation comes because we're, we're focused on the problems. We're focused on solving problems. You know, we're a public university. Being a public university means how do you help society? How do you serve the public? And that, that, has, that is our mission. Well, great. I hope everyone learned a little bit more about our institute during that video. So now I'm going to read off our mission statement. So the Holly G. Lou Data Science Institute is an academic unit at UC San Diego with a focused mission. Its mission is to lay the scientific foundations of this emerging discipline, develop new methods and tools, and train students, faculty, and industrial partners to use data science in different ways that will allow them to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. So here at HDSI, we are an academic unit through which um, our program is, minister, is administered. A little background behind our program is that several years ago, campus leadership, including Rajesh Gupta, our director and co-founder, who was actually in the last video as well, he recognized that the field of data science was emerging as its own domain and was becoming a discipline that deserved its own academic department and degree. And with a extraordinarily generous gift by alum and Facebook's first employee, Tanir Halijulu, who is also in that video that we just saw um, in his family. The data science major began in the fall of 2017, and the institute was established March 1st, 2018. 
So how do you say Holly Gialu? I'm sure it is one of your most burning questions. So let's take a look at the Holly Gialu challenge and learn more about our institute. Here at the gateway to the Holly Gialu Data Science Institute at UC San Diego, thousands pass by, just like data streams through so much of our modern life, seen and unseen. Our institute is dedicated to tackling the challenges inside the rising wave of big data. But before we set out to change the world, there are two challenges that we'll have to solve first. We asked a few students passing by to see if they know the right way to say our name. Luckily enough, our chancellor Pradeep Khosla solved the problem for us. If you don't know how to pronounce his name, let me just give you a little tutorial. So the C becomes a G and the G does not exist. So everybody with me, Hale Jolu. Okay, did they get it right? Um, I'm, I'm, now I'm going to blow it. Say it again. Hala Giolu. There you go. What? You've got it. Okay, everybody. Let's say it one more time. Hala Giolu Data Science Institute. Now you've got it. Good. Data science is, it's, it's a field we've never had to have before because we've got data at a scale and a scope that never existed before. And, and there are really exciting opportunities and they're really worrisome challenges. The Data Science Institute's goal is to promote, build, and encourage the use of data science in all the disciplines where it may be used. We educate UC San Diego students overseeing one of the largest data science majors in the nation. Our education program also offers deeper learning with graduate and postdoctoral education programs. We connect and empower leading researchers with hundreds of affiliated faculty. At the same time, we build effective industry outreach to solve real world problems. We are the data science hub here at UC San Diego. Wait, remember how to say our name? All right, I'm going to say it one more time. Paula Jolu, Data Science Institute. Awesome. Well, I hope everyone now knows how to say Holly Gialu. Now we are going to go over this image. We as an academic unit very much appreciate what this image represents. And this is because HGSI really does branch out and is involved in so many other academic departments here on campus. And it is an introduction disciplinary major, which we will discuss a little bit more in the presentation. And here in this image, you can see a few other departments such as political science, um, we have radies, biology, math, economics. So we really just appreciate what this represents and being able to be involved with so many other departments. So now during these next slides, we will be discussing a little bit more about different pathways to data science here at UC San Diego, including research, student organizations, scholarships, and more. HDSI really has become a hub of data science, academics, research, and industry. And this is one of the things that is most unique about our major and really sets us apart. It is that students have opportunities to engage inside and outside the classroom with our industry partners and other student organizations and regular organizations here on campus. So we also want to highlight two of the scholarship opportunities that are offered through HDSI. The first one is our HDSI industry sponsored research scholarship, which is for data science majors only but it is an opportunity for UCSD data science undergraduates to work closely with industry partners and UCSD faculty members on high level research projects. And they use actual data sets and address real world industry data science problems. The second is our HDSI undergraduate scholarship program. 
data science major and minor students have priority into this program and they actually just wrapped up their final presentations for the last academic year. Um, but this is an opportunity as well for UC San Diego students to work closely with a mentor and develop analytical skills, data science portfolios, and foster novel data science driven approaches to problem solving once again. So we do want to go into a little bit more depth about our industry and our industry partners. Um, as you can see here, we have a large range of industry partners and our partners definitely are committed to supporting our students by providing hands-on and experiential learning opportunities. Um, for an example, the HGSI industry sponsored research scholarship program is an opportunity for UC San Diego data science undergraduates to work closely with industry partners on high level research projects using actual data sets and addressing real world problems once again. For example, as you can see here, we had worked with Chatterbug, which was founded by UC San Diego alum and GitHub founder Scott Chacon. And this opportunity provided students with the chance to be able to work on a project to predict customer retention using um, Chatterbug data. Another project that we have an example for was BD, where students addressed some of the critical healthcare challenges facing their company. And students actually during this project were awarded $10,000 over the course of this year to work directly with BD employees, which is really exciting. And lastly, a few of our students worked with Intel as well. Intel employees were actually so impressed with our students that they contacted us after um, their partnership with this program asking to record asking to recruit even more students into their industry sponsored scholarship. So now we want to go into a little bit more information on the HDSI undergraduate scholarship program. So during this program, students propose actually their own research project in which they use data science thinking and skills to solve a wide range of problems in science, technology, humanities, um, and other domains. In the last two years, since the beginning of the scholarship program, the Institute has actually founded, um, funded, excuse me, 79 students who each received $2,500 to pursue their projects for the course of a year. They also get the support of a faculty mentor who is an expert in the domain that they are trying to research. Data science majors, again, do receive priority, but the opportunity is actually available for all students on campus. And during this last application cycle, there was actually a large amount a, um, of different majors who did apply, which was really exciting. And what we really want you to notice here from this diagram that's shown is the wide range of product projects that are available to students and the wide range of majors that were actually um, involved in these different projects as well. And hopefully this really shows you how interdisciplinary data science is and how many areas of data science really can be applied to different domains and interests. And you can also see here that some of the projects were related to athletics and medicine, environmental science, economics, um, just to highlight a few specific projects. So one you could see here is quantifying uh, tennis player performance. We have students who were on a team that were tracking the UC San Diego athletics department and the tennis team to help them perform better. They used data science to track the velocity and acceleration of different tennis balls hit by tennis players to figure out areas that could be improved. Another um, project listed here that was an example was the quantifying, uh, quantifying the effect of redlining policies on racial segregation in America's urban centers. And just a fun fact about the student who actually did this project 
they jumped in right away applying for the scholarship during their first quarter at UCSD. Um, they had this question that they really wanted to dive deeper into and get answered. And he was actually paired with a sociology professor who is also an urban studies expert. And they were able to work on solving this problem together. And recently, some of our scholarship awardees got the chance to present to faculty and industry partners during their final presentations. So these presentations and research projects really were shared with a wide audience and got a lot of exposure in our community, which is awesome. So now that you have a better idea about some of the opportunities within the HDSI department, here is a video about meeting some of our HDSI undergraduate research scholars specifically who have actually gotten to work on some of these projects. It's kind of a lot more interesting to see what what you develop can actually do. So mangroves are a really important coastal tree species and then they provide a lot of important ecological contributions. Uh, baseball means a lot to me. It really has a special place in my heart. I've been playing since I was uh, four years old and it's really part of my identity. This is my baseball fan. <laughs> my research revolves around how politicians are utilizing Twitter and talking to their constituents. Baseball is a non-contact sport, but surprisingly you see just as many injuries in baseball as you see in other sports. A lot of things that we used to use to kind of track things in the mangroves are kind of honestly primitive. I, I think me and Kathy have both experienced using yeah. them. What we do now is we kind of just fly drones over it. Drone data provides a lot more accurate data for um, when we're calculating biomass. So if you've seen the movie Moneyball or read the book, you know that they're using statistics in order to build good baseball teams on low budgets. In my case, I'm using statistics in order to see if I can predict injuries. Through transfer and machine learning, we were able to uh, see how politicians are tweeting nowadays, and they're really utilizing more opinionated and negative statements in their uh, tweets. So one of my favorite things about this project is that it's so interdisciplinary. So then you have this um, lab that's working at Scripps Institute of Oceanography, uh, and you have another lab that's from the CSC department, and then they're working together to solve one problem. I ran into a lot of issues uh, regarding how to process a lot of the data that we're uh, working with. It was a really large data set and we really had to allocate a lot of uh, resources through Google and through some other um, uh, on-site uh, UCSD's uh, resources. I think the, the big difficulty with this project was getting the data set uh, nice and organized and in a format that I could write code to run on. Yeah, eventually I was able to get the data set to how I wanted it to be. It's not just me dealing with a bunch of images, it's me going into the mangroves and having to feel what they are, getting stuck like waist deep in mangroves. So then after that, doing all the machine learning stuff, it just makes it a lot more valuable to me. I really enjoy being part of the HDSI fellowship that provide a lot of different resources for my project. But I also got to see a variety of other undergraduate students using data science to accomplish their goals as well. It's really interesting work and I get to work with a lot of people that I've never worked with, uh, really getting to learn more about politics in general and getting to work with great professors like uh, Professor Thad Kowser here. I really love what I'm doing. I'm uh, working with baseball, which is something I'm really passionate about. It's nice to know that it's doing something. Yeah, it's it's exactly. helping people's lives. It's, mm -hmm. you know, helping fight global warming and all the fun stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thank, thank, thank you all. I think that was awesome. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that video, meeting some of our HDSI undergraduate research scholars. So now we are going to go into DS3, which is the Data Science Student Society. So here on campus, they actually began before the major even existed. Um, they were just a group of students that were really passionate about data science. And as you can see here from the general body meeting, DS3 has really grown a lot um, with students from many different majors who actually participate. You don't have to be just a data science major. Um, you just need to be interested in data science and they host a lot of different um, events, usually on campus um, during the year to help students 
connect with the data science community. They do different socials like ice skating or study parties. They even hold um, other events to help students develop their data science skills like online tutorials or team competitions um, in the annual data science hacks event. Um, this event is one of the biggest data science events of the year and it is an all day night um, team competition where students really work to dive deep on different data sets and come up with solutions to problems that are proposed. For an example, last year, students actually got to work with Uber data sets to come up with proposals on how Uber can be improved with their rideshare experience. Some of the other sponsors that we've had have been Lyft, Microsoft, Azure, and StubHub, which are really awesome. So before I end my section, I wanna go just a little bit into more into our program events. Some of the program events that are offered throughout the year with our data science department have to do with career and graduate school oriented um, programs and events such as workshops on resumes, cover letter, industry panels, recruitment events, lunch and learns, getting ready for graduate school workshops, industry office hours. Um, we also have research oriented program events such as capstone final presentations, the undergraduate scholarship presentations, social events such as quarterly study um, final study jams, faculty student mixers, usually with food, and student support um, organizations and program events with quarterly group advising sessions, freshman and transfer orientations, um, information sessions, and senior orientations. So now I'm going to turn it over to Megan, who will be going more in depth about our data science major curriculum. Megan? All right, thank you, Whitney, for sharing information on some of those many exciting opportunities related to data science at UC San Diego. What I'm going to transition into now is an overview of our data science major curriculum. So first, our curriculum, like we've already mentioned, is uniquely interdisciplinary. So we draw from courses across the university, and we have three sponsoring departments. So computer science, math, and cognitive science. And to better describe the interdisciplinary nature of our curriculum, we use what we like to call the data science square. If you want to go ahead and move forward in the presentation, thank you. Um, so at each corner of the square is a central feature of data science. Um, so starting with the computer science and engineering courses, courses here are focused on foundational skills such as programming and languages like Python, Java, and SQL. These courses also dive uh, deeper at the upper division level into technical skills such as managing da databases, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. At the next corner of the square, we have our math courses. These courses help students build the skills related to probability and statistics that are critical to data science. At the third corner, we have cognitive science. Now, the cognitive science department is a unique department on campus that studies cognition in all forms, so both human and computer cognition. Here at these kinds of courses, students take um, courses that are related to the study of computer cognition. That includes neural networks, artificial intelligence, and broadly the ways that data science can be applied in the world. And then the fourth corner, and perhaps most importantly, is the domain corner or domain of interest. So what is a domain of interest? A domain of interest is the area where you apply your data science skill set. Data science is a powerful set of tools, really need to be familiar with the field where you plan to apply those tools. Um, it can be hard to explore and, and utilize data science um, to say, analyze the human genome if you've never taken a biology or genetics course, for example. And while other programs provide a strict set of options and specific courses that you have to take in order to specialize in a particular area, our program actually allows you to identify your own domain of interest. And that domain of interest feature is, in my opinion, the most exciting part of our curriculum. We get to see students applying data science to really all types of questions and problems. Um, and you can see that domain of interest feature all throughout the curriculum. 
So here um, we have a few examples of identified domains that students within our data science major are currently focusing on. Um, to help students explore these potential domains, we work with HDSI, our institute, to offer opportunities for experts within data science, both on and off campus, to share their perspective and experiences with our students. Ideally, our students will actively determine their domain throughout their academic experience, utilizing flexibility within the curriculum to build a depth of knowledge in these areas and pursue hands-on experiences where they can apply their data science skills um, to their domain of interest in order to help them prepare for their desired career path before they even graduate. And again, what you can see here is just the range from economics to music, computing, and the arts to cognitive science. And so while we don't require that students declare a specific domain of interest, we do begin guiding students to, or towards potential domain areas in their second year, where students pursue one of these four lower division tracks. So these four tracks are business analytics, econometrics and statistics, machine learning and artificial intelligence, natural sciences and social sciences. Again, these are by no means the only areas where data science can be applied, and some students do choose to pursue upper division electives both within and outside of these tracks. So some of the um, additional and more specific domains students might choose to explore through their upper division electives can be seen here just with the range of departments that are represented. So everything from our Rady School of Management to the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, you'll find their courses in our upper division elective options. And if you're not seeing your potential domain of interest represented here, that's okay. Students can actually request for two of their five upper division electives to be courses that are not even in our curriculum, but are related to their unique domain of interest. So just for example, students who became in, interested in data science and the arts, that kind of cross section through one of our department electives titled data science and the arts, they've chosen to pursue additional visual arts electives outside of our curriculum um, where they can use their skills to now apply machine learning to do things like creating a tool that can quickly read and break down pictures and images. Um, again, visual arts is not officially in our curriculum, but those students had the flexibility to pursue that um, through our curriculum. And one of the most exciting and important parts of our curriculum is our two quarter capstone course, which students take in their final year. Here, students have the opportunity to work with a domain expert on a specific project. In their first quarter, they spend that quarter um, learning more about that domain area with their capstone domain expert. In the second quarter, then, students get to identify and develop their own project topic, and they do quite a bit of independent research. This culminates in a final presentation event at the end of the quarter, which is really exciting. Um, in our first capstone presentation event that we had in the spring quarter, we had attendees ranging from students to faculty to some industry professionals who came to learn about some of the research that our students did. And um, let's just say these people who attended were beyond impressed with what our students are capable of doing um, in their final year as data science majors. It was really exciting to see some of the projects. And here are a few examples of some of those domain areas from last year's capstone, as well as some of those individual projects pursued by students in the domains. So again, what you can see here is the range of projects and the unique application of data science skills to answer really a variety of questions. Um, this fall's capstone, so happening right now, actually has 18 different domain areas that students can choose to pursue. Um, those focus on areas from healthcare to genetics to physics to recommender systems, and we even have a capstone project led by Intel using Intel's own data. Um, a few of these capstone domain areas are also exploring questions related to COVID-19, um, which is exciting because it's allowing our students to be at the forefront of solving one of our world's most pressing problems today. And our students are doing really great work around that. So now um, we've spoken a bit today about the data science major and curriculum, but we do know some students might be wondering um, about entry into the major if they're not directly admitted as data science majors. So we'll defer to the admissions office for more information about direct admission into the data science major. But if you're not directly admitted, we want you to be aware that data science is a capped major. So what does that mean? What is a capped major? 
A cap major is a major that's in high demand, um, where enrollment in the major is limited. And this is to ensure that we have the capacity and we can support students who are in our major. So students then have to apply into the major if they're not directly admitted. Um, and to apply, students complete three screening courses, what are called screening courses. So a calculus course, a linear algebra course, and an introduction to data science course. And from there, we average student screening course GPAs and um, determine admission. We do want you to note, though, that um, students are recommended by the admissions office to indicate an alternate major on their UC application that is not capped. So if you're choosing data science as your first major to choose an alternate major that is not capped. And for transfer students, because the data science major is a capped major, um, this means that uh, transfer major preparation courses are required, and we'll discuss this in just a moment. So, but before we talk about transfer major preparation, we also want to highlight the data science minor. Um, so if you're a student who's looking forward to potentially pursuing a different major, but you're interested in building a strong data science skill set, the minor is a really great option. Um, again, data science can be applied almost anywhere. So it can be a good combination with any major that you choose to pursue at UC San Diego. The data science minor um, allows students to build a strong foundation of data science skills because actually students in the minor take almost all of the same lower division requirements as the major, in addition to 20 units of upper division coursework, which is focused on building some higher level technical skills. Um, because of this, I, I sometimes joke that our, our minors are so integrated in our program, they're taking so many of our courses and, and pursuing so many of the same opportunities. I can sometimes forget who's a major and who's a minor, and I think that that really speaks to just how, um, you know, just how much of a strong foundation the data science minor provides in data science. So something to consider again, if you're thinking about a different major, but looking to integrate data science um, into your studies at UC San Diego. So now switching back here to transfer major preparation courses for any transfer students who might be in attendance today. Um, again, the data science major is capped. So that means that transfer students do need to complete minimum transfer major preparation courses. So those transfer major preparation courses that students have to complete are courses that are equivalent to Math 18, that's a linear algebra course, Math 20A through Math 20C, which are calculus courses, and then a minimum of one programming course in one of these programming languages. So Java, C, C++, or Python. For any colleges with assist articulation agreements, so any California community colleges, the minimum that you would need to take would be a CSE 8A, CSE 8B, or CSE 11 um, articulated course. And again, if you are attending a California community college, you can utilize that tool, assist.org, to find courses that will transfer as, as these um, transfer major preparation courses. And then once again, transfer students are strongly encouraged to indicate an alternate major that is not capped on their UC application. Okay, so um, now we wanna talk about the transfer uh, long-term plan. So um, just to make you make you aware, any transfer students who might be attending, um, data science is a new major at UC San Diego, and it is a new and emerging field overall. So unlike majors like, say, biology, where um, you're going to find introductory biology courses, um, you know, they're going to be fairly standard at most institutions, data science isn't quite there yet as a field. Um, in fact, data science is, is not yet offered as an area studied at most institutions. UC San Diego is really unique in the fact that we have a data science major. Um, so we are starting to develop, develop some articulation agreements at some community colleges for a few of our courses like DSC 20 and DSC 30. But most of our transfer students do find that they need to complete the full data science course sequence at UC San Diego, or at least the majority of that course sequence. And due to both that and the way that our prerequisites work out, um, most transfer students do need to plan on an eight quarter transfer plan. So you can see that plan here, kind of a sample plan of what that might look like for some incoming transfer students. Um, over time, this may shift um, as we create additional articulation agreements and more data science courses are developed at other institutions. But at this time, we do recommend that transfer students um, are just aware of this, this typical eight quarter plan. 
So now to end, um, we want to talk a little bit about one of our most common questions, which is what can I do with the data science major? It's a new and exciting field, but what can I do with it? Um, luckily, we had our first class of graduates this spring to help us answer that question. It was a small class of graduates, about 60 to 70 students, but they're all doing such amazing things. So we want to spotlight and brag a bit about, about them. So here are some of the internships that that first class of graduates pursued while at UC San Diego. Um, and what you can see here is that um, some students pursue more technical internships. Um, so some of these internships were software engineering or data engineering roles. Um, while some internships were very domain focused. So you can see how a student who's a student whose domain of interest or the area they're exploring there, um, you know, if their domain of interest is biology or medicine, they then went on to pursue an internship with the Department of Medicine at UC San Diego or a student whose domain is business uh, pursuing uh, an internship, say, at Bank of America. So you can kind of see those connections there. And this translates um, as well to what students have pursued full time after graduation. So 30% um, of our students are pursuing graduate school and you can see those programs listed here, some pretty amazing programs. Um, in terms of full time employment, again, what you can see is some students choosing to pursue more technical roles, while other students have pursued those domain specific roles. So you can see on that list, Sandag, for example, um, anyone who's local to San Diego will recognize that name. It's San Diego's regional planning agency. Um, this particular student actually, um, their domain focus was urban studies and planning, and that allowed them to now move into a career where they're combining data science and urban planning. Um, other students have secured full-time employment at some other incredible places you can see on that list, AT&T, Apple, American Express, Amazon, and more. And again, this is a, uh, one of our smallest cl classes of graduates because it was our first class, and it's pretty incredible some of the things they're already doing. So with all of that in mind, thank you all for listening. Um, we hope that you feel just as excited about the opportunities that the Holly Geolia Data Science Institute and the data science program have to offer. Um, if you have any questions, it looks like we have about 15 minutes here and we are happy to take any questions which you can submit through that Q&A feature. And we'll wait a minute here for those to come in. All right. So I do see one question that it looks like we have an answer for. Um, but I do want to just address um, for everyone because we tend to get this question a lot. So do I need to have coding knowledge to apply as a data science major? In terms of the application, again, I'll defer to the admissions department there, but I do want to just address that for anyone who's incoming. Uh, you know, if you, if you do decide, if you're accepted to the data science major and you decide to join us at UC San Diego, our very first course, DSC 10, is designed with no prerequisites and with the assumption that any student taking that course has never taken a data science or programming course before. So we do have plenty of students who start in our major and that's their first programming related course. So that's certainly um, you know, not something that, that uh, would be, we see that very often. Um, I see somebody who says, are there data science majors pursuing a career in UX or UI design? Um, that's a good question. I'll have to look into that to see what um, the specific job titles are. Again, it was a smaller group of graduates. I do know that, that we have um, students in our major currently who are pursued internships related to UX or UI design. We also have students who are double majoring in a major in the cognitive science department that is design focused as well. Um, so I do know that that is a, definitely a combination that we've seen before. Good question. Um, I see one question here. Um, so for transfer students, um, the pipeline for data science majors is eight quarters, which is two and a half years after transferring. Yes, that's a good question. So um, you'll have two, it's the standard transfer plan as of now is two full academic years. So that's um, three quarters for each of those two years because UCSD is on the quarter system and then two additional quarters beyond that. So our transfer students are typically on track to graduate in the winter quarter of their third year. Um, I do see a question here about which UCSD college is best of the seven for data science. We have students in all different colleges um, who are pursuing data science. So, um, and I would say it depends year to year which one we have the most students from. So I, I don't really see too much of a pattern there. Um, we do see though, sometimes those college requirements are great ways to, for students to explore domains, uh, potential domains of interest. So some students might be taking 
a college course that they're thinking this doesn't apply to my major and then you know it's a let's say a political science course they take for their college and they find hey this is a really cool domain that I want to explore a little bit more. All right, any other questions um, out there that we can we can answer here. All right, we don't have any other questions coming in. Um, we do want to share, though, our uh, DSC student at UCSD.edu email, um, which was shared in the chat. If you do have any other questions that come up specific to the data science major, feel free to contact us there. And we're always happy to chat with prospective data science majors or students who are just generally interested in um, you know, data science minor or other data science opportunities at UC San Diego. We did actually get one more, Megan. <laughs> oh, we did, oh, sorry. No worries. Oh, good question. So are there any engineering domains of interest um, within the data science major? That's something I would say, um, you know, when I think of some of the, the engineering focused courses that are in our, our elective curriculum, or excuse me, in our curriculum as electives, um, a lot of those courses I would say students pursue, but they pursue again kind of as, um, you know, additional sets of tools that they can then go on to apply in an, a different area. So, um, you know, some of our computer science and engineering courses in our um, program, for example, like I can think of a computer vision course that students often take that's very popular, um, that is a more engineering focused domain or elective, but it's a, an elective that really can be applied again to a lot of different areas. Um, but we do have engineering focused courses that are approved electives and we do have some students who will choose to um, petition for engineering focused courses to count towards their major as well. Um, somebody asked how many students are currently in the data science program? Great question. So actually when I started, uh, let's see here, two years ago, we had 400 students. We are now at about 850, which I think speaks to just like the interest in data science um, and the excitement around it. Um, we've also grown quite a bit as an institute. So our faculty have grown to make sure we're supporting that number of students. Um, so yeah, it's, it's exciting to see the, the number of students in, in data science on campus at UC San Diego. And then I saw one question that I could take. So um, someone asked, what are the acceptance odds into our program? So via the capped major application, we've unfortunately only had two application cycles. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell um, the acceptance odds, but during those first two application cycles, we were able to accept the majority of the applicants that applied. Um, and based off of this information, um, during the first application cycle, they had about a 3.49 GPA of the screening courses and the second application cycle was about a 3.5. So again, right around that 3.5 range for those three screening courses and we were able to accept the majority of the applicants, but it is all dependent upon the um, amount of capacity that we have at the time. Um, so just because we were able to accept all of the more, uh, most of the applicants during the last two cycles, um, every cycle is gonna really differ on how many students we can take in our capacity. Yeah, and then just to add to that, to clarify a little bit. So that's specific to students who were admitted to UC San Diego as a different major. So who then go through a CAT major application process. So um, for students who are, are looking for acceptance odds into UC San Diego in general, um, that's a, a question you can connect with the admissions office on. Okay, don't see any other questions coming in here. I'll give everyone a minute or two. Um, looks like we did submit a survey form um, in, the, uh, in the chat. So you can see the most recent link that was sent. Um, feel free to fill that out. We'd love to hear from you um, and uh, you know hear a little bit of what you're interested in. So um, thank you all for joining us today. Um, again, we hope to hear from you um, if you have any other questions and um, we're excited in general that you're interested in data science at UC San Diego. Thank you guys so much.